Hey guys, it's Cam. I'm going to be showing you how I cut and stitch a full gummies. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Let's get straight into it. Grab the lining fabric, make sure the wrong side is facing you. And then the main fabric, the wrong side is also facing you. What you want to do is stitch right down the middle, all the way to the hip. Now, all that will do is just going to make sure that the fabric doesn't go onto one side when you're stitching and um, it's symmetrical. Then you want to hem the lining fabric only at the bottom, so my front uh, main fabric is already hemmed so I don't need to do that. So what I've done is folded it once by half an inch, then folded it again by an inch. And make sure to not stretch the fabric when you're stitching this, because otherwise your hem will get ruined and it won't look that nice. Then you want to stitch the top together, so it doesn't matter which way you stitch it, you can either stitch on the lining fabric or the main fabric, just make sure both fabrics align together. Then what you want to do is sew all around the side of the gummies, first from the chest to the hip. Now first what you want to do is glide your hand from the middle of the gummies all the way to the edge. So whatever fabric is hanging out, just let it be. And then from the hip to the bottom of where the hem is, align both fabrics together so make sure no fabric is sticking out and just make sure they're both aligned together and stitch on the side leaving about half an inch gap as well. What this is going to do is just going to give you a nicer finish. Then you want to stitch from the top of the shoulder to the end of the armhole and then you want to do the exact same on the other side as well so stitch all the way down the side and then stitch the armhole. Now what we're going to do is stitch the darts, so first stitch on the lining fabric, just so both fabrics do stick together. So where you've drawn out the middle line, stitch on that line. Then grab both fabrics together and stitch on the outer lines drawn, so it will be the line that's got a bit of a curved shape. Now make sure whenever you stitch a dart, do not double stitch don't ever do that and make sure to leave some thread hanging and don't cut right into the end of the thread make sure that is I'd say about an inch left of fab uh, thread left the reason why you want to do this is when you do double stitch your fabric tends to get ruined whenever you stitch dart whereas when you don't double stitch it just has a nice neater finish and it will last longer as well. Now I'm going to stitch the neckline. So if you want to see this more in detail, just click the i button at the top. I'll show you more in detail how I stitch the full neckline.
Now this is the finished neckline for the back side of the fabric. Put the front fabric neckline inside the back neckline flap. Make sure the sides of the neckline line up together so the edge of the front fabric just at the edge should connect with the back neckline edge and then bring the back neckline flap to the front of the neckline and stitch. This will just give it a nicer finish and it will be more durable. Now you want to stitch the back and the front fabric together so stitch on the lines you've drawn out so only on the correct measurements. What I tend to do is stitch around about half an inch outside the lines just to make sure I've not made it too tight and if it is loose then I just do another stitch on the actual measurement or if you want you can just stitch on the me measurement and then you want to measure as you go along just in case you want to make any adjustments Now what you want to do is cut out a rectangle piece of fabric, mine is 7.5 inches in width and 2.5 inches in length, so what you want to do is fold the fabric by half an inch and then on each side and then fold the fabric in half and stitch on the side that is open. Now what you're going to do with this piece of fabric is attach it to the jog or the side. So on the top, so where the stitch finishes at the hip, you want to put that on top of it. So just above it, stitch the fabric on the actual jog individually. So you want to do the front side first and back side. Right, next what we're going to do is stitch the sides or the jog. So what I've done is folded it by half an inch and then again by an inch. And that's it for the video guys. I hope you liked the video guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting every Tuesday and Saturday. The next video I'm going to be posting will be how I cut and stitch a Juridar pajami and also how I make a Juridar sleeve. 
and attach it to the actual gummies. Romantic, I'm not